Astrid S. I'm at Young Hollywood and I'm about to play the game of first. First big celebrity's phone number you added to your contacts. In 2016, I toured with Troy Sivan, so I got his number, but he never replied to my text, so I don't know if he gave me the right number. <laughs> but um, I also collaborated with uh, Shawn Mendes on a song, and he gave me my number, and it was the right number, so I think it's one of those. First celebrity crush. That must have been uh, Troy Bolton in the High School Musical. I remember dreaming about being a part of High School Musical and waking up with this really hurtful heartbreak. Um, and I've actually never experienced a hurtful heartbreak as bad as I had when I was in love with Troy Bolton. First kiss? I think it might have been with my first boyfriend when I was about 15. So I had a pretty late first kiss, at least compared to my friends. First job you ever had? My first job was at an elderly nursing home and I was 15 and I loved it. I thought it was so much fun and I would bring my guitar some days and play music for them, but they hated it. So they would just sit like this um, but I still did it because I enjoyed performing. First person you were starstruck over, Amelia Clark, who plays Mother of Dragons in uh, Game of Thrones. She walked into the room and I felt like I was 10 years old again. And the guy that I was in love with was in the same room. And when she left, I felt really devastated and heartbroken, just like I did with Troy Bolton. <laughs> okay, last one. First paranormal experience, if you've ever had one. When I was about 16, I would always see the number 22 everywhere. And it made me really, really crazy. Like I got um, gate 22, I got uh, seated at 22. Um, my hotel room was like 222. It was just everywhere. And it still annoys me because I feel like there's something behind it, but I'm not sure. And I've been thinking of tattooing 22 somewhere but I don't know that's the story first movie or TV show you ever saw I think the first TV show I saw must have been one three hill um, I watched all the seasons and I didn't know English at that time so I didn't really understand it but I rewatched it when I got older and I think it's really good another one First time you were recognized in public. I really remember how it felt in the beginning when I, when I could sense that people were looking. Because in Norway, people don't really come by and say hi, they just look and stare. And I remember I felt like I always had to like walk like a robot. <laughs> Probably looked really silly, but um, yeah. First embarrassing audition story. Um, I was actually a contestant in the Norwegian Idol in 2013. I was 15 at the time and I found it very embarrassing going into this room with judges and cameras everywhere. And I remember I was just talking nonstop and giggling and laughing and I thought it was a bit embarrassing. First impression of Young Hollywood. It's not really about the label or the name or the brand. It's all about the people and Always when I've been interviewed or collaborating with Young Hollywood, there's been such nice people. So I would say that my first impression of Young Hollywood is great because the people here are great. Thank you for watching my Game of First. Thank you for having me, Young Hollywood. And if you want to check out my new song, it's called Emotion and you can find it anywhere. Bye. <laughs>